Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick unboxing for you. We have the Radiance Cube Lights from Rigid Industries. These, um, these specific ones have a red backlight on them. Uh, they're going to match real nice with our Razor build. So uh, let's get into it. Uh, features uh, include that they're a 12 volt light, uh, aluminum housing with um, a really high end powder coating. They come with the brackets, wires. Um, they're completely waterproof and dustproof. Um, they're pretty durable. Um, they have a, a pressure equalization vent on the back, um, and it comes with everything you need to install them. So let's, uh, let's take a look at them. They come in white, blue, red, green, and amber. Again, today we're going with the, uh, the red ones. So Alright, so it looks like uh, we go with some thanks to Jade and Alexis for doing a good job on this uh, packaging. Looks like we got some cubes. Some harnesses. And some uh, instructions. Looks like some stickers and some manuals. And that's it. So our installation instructions, uh, basically pretty simple if you've ever done any kind of lighting um, on a 12 volt vehicle. Uh, basically your red wire is your positive, your black is your ground, and your white um, is your switch. Um, should be pretty straightforward. Let's take a look at one of these lights. Alright, so you can see they have a single cluster of LEDs in the middle instead of having the four uh, LEDs like you would see on their um, dually setups. Uh, there's, I don't know if you can see behind there, but there's a, a, a passage, a, a space behind the reflector that is just the PC board with, uh, it would appear to be three LEDs, possibly more, we'll, we'll confirm that. So you'll get your, your white light from the center cluster and your red LEDs for your backlighting. Again, these are rigid lights, so they have a pretty well-proven uh, structure and design. Uh, the aluminum fins are uh, there for cooling and for protection. And the thing I like about the rigid lights is that their, their bracketing system actually mounts from within the fins. So if we take uh, one of these, We look at this bracket assembly you'll see that you have your your swing adjustment and you'll see that there's a square uh, carriage bolt for the for the mounting with um, just a single wrench so you don't have to have a wrench up here holding it in place uh, it comes with your allen bolts your uh, locking nuts a center non-locking nut for your primary bolt um, a lock washer and then a standard flat washer. So one reason why I like this design is that this bracket's pretty simple as far as the way it works and that it's mostly hidden within the light itself so once you have it mounted you can tilt it up as much as you want all the way up to that 90 degree point where you can go all the way to horizontal but you can't really point down um, though for most applications you want to be pointing down. Um, but the installation is pretty simple because all you do is you pass the locking nut into the housing like that. You would add your cage as such. And then you would take your Allen key bolt and just start threading it down. So as you can see, it's now a fully contained bracket um, and there's no need for a second wrench. Uh, just your your Allen wrench and simply tighten it down exactly where I want it and then it's completely locked into place. Um, one thing that would have been nice to include from Rigid is maybe some security bolts but um, for the most part they're a really easy install so pretty easy as far as that goes. So as far as this goes here on the back you can see that the the wire mounts with an actual um, 
yoke that screws into the body of the light. Uh, there's also a gasket behind there to create a weatherproof seal. And you can see that there's a pressure relief vent here as well, if it were to get too hot. Um, as far as the light goes, it's pretty much, that's it. I mean, pretty simple. Uh, the wiring, as you can see here, um, basically just three wires. What is nice that most companies do not do is that they pre-tin your contacts for you. So when you go to put your butt connectors or your bullet connectors or um, if you are going to be soldering your connections, um, they're pre-tinned for you so you don't have to waste time doing that, which is just nice coming from somebody that solders um, frequently. So anyways, um, those are the rigid radiance cubes. We will hook those up to our razor and uh, see how they do.